everyone. Thanks for watching. My name is Anisha and let's get started. So these exercises are great for the shoulders because they work a whole bunch of muscles. And I really like this exercise because it stays in the frontal plane. All you need to know is that it stays in line with the body. So those arms are going out to the side and up and all the way down. If you have any pain or anything, I would go less. So just try to keep your ribs nice and closed, stand nice and tall, and bring those arms up and down. And you can do, uh, I would start with two to three pound weights and do 20 of them. And then as you get stronger, you can increase the weight. This next exercise is a stretch for the lats and also a muscle called the quadratus lumborum. It's in the lower back. It's usually the part of your back that gets pretty achy when you sitting, are sitting for a long time. And it just is a nice stretch side. You wanna imagine that you're going in between two walls and that you're keeping your feet firmly planted in the floor as you bend side to side. It should actually feel really good, but it should not have any pinching or you shouldn't feel any pinching in the lower back. The next exercise is a really, I, I like this one too. It's great for my shoulders. I take a TheraBand. This one is actually pretty um, heavy. I put it underneath my armpits, palms facing up, and I reach the arms forward, bring them side, and return. So I call this the four point exercise because there's four points that you're going through. Um, great for the rotator cuff muscles, get a little bit of external rotation. Um, yeah, and also too, because the palms are facing up, it kind of force you a little bit more open in the shoulders than if your palms are facing down. Um, make sure that you're slightly squeezing your shoulder blades together when the arms go to the side and try not to arch your lower back, if any at all. And that's about it. Do about 20 to 30. I do quite a few and slower is harder. Okay, so it, I'm kind of rushing to just show you, but that's the exercise. All right, so this next exercise is a stretch and this helps you with overhead mobility. If you're one of those people that dislocates their shoulders a lot, I would be super careful with this exercise, maybe even skip it. Anyways, um, you're gonna go ahead and rotate your arms all the way back and forth. I make it look easy, it is not. I've worked on this for a really long time. Uh, you wanna keep your elbows super straight. Um, if you find that there's any paint in the shoulder or the elbow, then don't do it or maybe go wider. Obviously, hands closer is more difficult. You just want to take your time. It's normal to feel a little bit crunchy, to be honest, but um, if you're not quite sure, I would check with your doctor or your physical therapist and they would give you better guidelines because they obviously know you. I don't. So just be careful. Go slow. Never rush with any of these exercises. And this one, you don't need to do too many, like eight to 10 is fine. Good, and then so the next one is just your basic shoulder stretch. Like if you've taken yoga, this is a very common stretch. I think it's called cow face pose, but I could be wrong. Um, but I love this. I give this to a lot of my Pilates students and it helps open up the lats and the anterior deltoid. And also the upper part of the back or mid upper part of the back called the thoracic spine. Make sure you hold it anywhere from 30 seconds to one minute. I'm showing it really quick because otherwise this video would be super long. And you want to keep your chin nice and level and just breathe nice and, nice and deep, excuse me. When you breathe deeply, it actually helps open up your muscles a little bit more efficiently. So now we're gonna work on the rhomboids major and minor. I pointed to them. When they're weak, your shoulders internally rotate. When they're a little bit stronger, they hold your um, shoulders in a more neutral position, which is what you want. So you're gonna go into a plank position, a push-up position, and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together and push them apart. Um, we call this protraction and retraction. So the shoulder blades are sliding to the sides and then they're going back together again. Try not to use your chin. If your wrists are achy, you know, you got injury, then go on your forearms. Even weight from your forearm to your pinky finger and do the same thing. Sometimes it's a little bit harder because you're closer to the ground. And yeah, just give it a try. Make sure your abs are pulled in so you don't hurt your back. The next one is wide push-ups. I love these. I actually had to do this for my shoulder injury. So you go ahead and protract or 
reach the shoulder blades to apart, squeeze them together, do the push up as you squeeze, and then push the shoulder blades apart again. Okay, you're, it's, it's not easy, um, it's pretty difficult, unless of course your arms are already pretty strong and your chest muscles are pretty strong. It also works the serratus anterior, which is a muscle group on the, or muscle I should say on the side. And um, yeah, it's really good for you. And now here's another muscle, teres major. You don't probably don't know the name, but you've felt it many times. <laughs> um, you put your hands to the wall, open your fingers, push through your hands, keep your elbows locked. Your head is in between your arms. Try not to drop your head down like, you know, it's just dead weight. You want to keep it somewhat lifted. You're forming kind of like a U-shape with the whole back. You should not feel this at all in the lower back. If you are, you know, I would go to the doctor to be honest, but you shouldn't feel the lower back. This next one is a very common stretch that you see in um, contortion classes or acrobatic classes, and it's the wall stretch. Some people call this the puppy dog stretch. You wanna bring your chest straight down to the wall, elbows locked, hands, you know, shoulder width apart, and um, if you can, bring your chin and your chest flat to the wall. And then finally, take your hands uh, to the outside of the doorway and step in. And you're just gonna feel a nice stretch in front of the shoulder and maybe in the pecs. And this is really good to release tension. You can even do this at work and nobody will look at you like you're that weird. And that way you can get a little stretch like so your shoulders aren't rounding forward. As with anything, if you have any pain, go to your doctor, go to a physical therapist, get it checked out, don't wait. I've done that before and then I just was in pain for a long time. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe or like it or comment. Bye.